today we are crossing the border and into Baja, California, a state of Mexico known for its epic beaches and open arms to the off-road and overland community. We're looking forward to cold margaritas, white sand beaches, and whatever adventures that might pop up along the way. Like and subscribe to help support this channel. amazing there was no traffic we went right through it almost seemed too easy the lines going out going back into the u.s on sunday were horrible definitely wishing i knew more spanish already yep <laughs> just a few short hours past the border and we're getting close to san felipe and as any vacation in mexico should begin we need to stop for fresh tacos and perhaps try some of the other local favorites And finally, the moment we've been waiting years for, finding a campsite on the beach. found a perfect campsite secluded from the wind, but I've waited too long to drive on the beaches, so what better time than sunset? It is an incredibly freeing feeling driving down a beach in Mexico. What'd you find there? This? That's awesome. Huge conch shell. I think it's a conch shell. Yeah. Does that sound? No. And then this one's for you, babe. This one's special because of the color. I really hope I didn't drop it. No, this has to be it. Oh, wow. Cool. I have never seen a seashell this orange. It looks fake. Nobody's ever seen one that orange. <laughs> so we've made it to the San Felipe beach. The first one that we're going to be at blue is already re rolling over on dead fish. Anybody that has a dog will understand that this entire beach. Me and Jesse just drove down it and there's nobody to bother you. It's this for miles, just open beaches right away. I understand the allure of Baja. There is one land Rover down the way that we met super cool people. Aside from that, there's nobody here. This is going to be an awesome week. This is day one of being in Mexico. This is the, one of the coolest campsites I've ever been at. Looking forward to this week. Look at this backdrop. This is awesome. I'm going to get this paddleboard down tomorrow. A 
God. Like, why, why is he so smelly? It's like filming. Coming from Colorado, this is much earlier than we get to experience summer-like temperatures than normal, and it feels amazing. Everyone is in extremely high spirits because of course we're in Baja, but also because the long drives are over for now. I feel like it's more like you do it for the fashion. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. Then you do it for beauty the comfort. Is pain. Yeah, beauty is pain. <laughs> yes. And this is high beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast and coffee, me and Jesse's usual morning critter hunt, and then we're headed down to the water to enjoy the sunshine and jump into the Sea of Cortez. Yeah, we definitely should have done some. The Alu cab is so quick to break down that we're just going to drive the FJ down by the water so we can utilize the awning and of course the Snowmaster fridge because warm days on the beach require cold drinks. Look how far we've drifted already. <laughs> yeah, it happens fast. After the girls hijack the paddle boards, Jesse and myself are headed to the saltwater pools behind our camp and we are hoping to catch our dinner. Slow. Sinking to the bottom. Sinking to the bottom. What, what, is, what are you doing different here? I just got that her. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, you got Maybe. your feet. Oh, yeah, I got snowshoes on. Prepare for death. Got this. Nice catch. While Jesse and myself entertained our primate-like instincts to hunt sea creatures for dinner, the girls enjoyed a relaxing day on the beach.
Tomorrow we're moving on to... Yeah, Bahia de Los Angeles. So anyway, we're moving on tomorrow. And we found, another spot. And we found so many amazing treasures there. A lot of treasures. We're gonna have to leave behind a yeah. lot. Everybody found 10 million shells and bones and all sorts of stuff. Like and the whale. Skulls. Like the whale vertebrae, which is crazy. And we but found a pelican skull. It feels like we shouldn't leave this spot just because it looks like this, but we know that there'll be more just like this because this is what the whole thing of Baja is. Which is yeah. pretty exciting. Which is great. So now we're going to go set up and take showers and cook crab and be on our way tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. As the night is winding down and tomorrow we'll be heading to find a new camp, we're going to kick back around a campfire and then retreat to our tents. All right, so we're moving on. We're gonna to go to Bahia de Los Angeles. I think I'm saying that right. And uh, this campsite's been really awesome. We've had it completely to ourselves. We saw one other Lexus here, the Land Rover we ran into the first night. But aside from that, there's been nobody here. We've had an entire beach to ourselves. For us, it's like a big deal because we, we don't really have open beaches where you can just drive and set up camp. There are some, but they're few and far between. So here in Mexico, we've got a wide open beach to ourselves. But yeah, so this has just been an awesome, beach we got to move on to the next spot which this is amazing i'm sure we're only going to find more amazing places oh wow look at this face i want a selfie with this <laughs> oh my god it's so crazy some silence of the lamp shit Okay, so yeah, Natalie is finding creepy things on the beach and distracting me. This sand is super fine. If you do come here, I would not consider coming without some traction boards or at least another vehicle, but I would just have multiple traction boards. We all have traction boards for this trip, and after being on the sand, it's totally necessary. But we're gonna move on to the next beach. Uh, hopefully we don't get bogged down just leaving here. I'm finding that the A-Track and the FJ is definitely better for romping around. It's more fun to romp around with the lockers on, but the A-Track's key here. So we're all gonna pack up and go and we've got six hours to drive today five we're a little past town so maybe a little less than that but we've got a long way to go so this beach has been awesome but moving on jesse's wilderness truck topper appears to be developing a bit of an issue with lining up to close correctly these campers are from the early 90s and time has put a bit of a beating on this one but with the three of us pushing and pulling we're able to get it closed and hopefully it doesn't get any worse as we move along and just as we're about to leave, we are graced with the presence of a rather large bobcat. What an excellent send off from this campsite. Join us next time as we make our way further south 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time.